Yes, yes, we are in the quarantine, and we are getting producers, and we are talking to them and figure out what's going on, how they're coping, what they have, uh, you know, what's going on in their minds. Um, today we have, or right now, we have Kevin Lawrence. He's one of our producers. Uh, Kevin, tell um some of the people out there the stuff that you work on, you worked on prior to this uh, quarantine. Well, prior to the quarantine, COVID nineteen, they want to call it. Um, uh, I was in a rebooting process with my. Uh, my two other producers of the show, RTS Spotlight, uh, we were in the process of bringing the show back. Uh, we were on hiatus, um, but I also was working on my own project, uh, my second short film um, called Brooklyn's Peace, based here in Brooklyn. So uh, I was on maybe like two days left of filming so I can start editing, um, and then everything happened. So. Okay. I'm on hiatus. How was yeah. it? Uh, how was it contacting your guests and people that were supposed to be on your show? Because it's, it's it seems like in this time, very a lot of people are uneasy. Um, at the beginning, we kind of didn't know what was going on. You know, a lot of places were like coming. They were saying, you know, one date and then uh, they would come back and just totally change or whatever. So like, how was it for your guests? Uh, I guess just uh, you know, coping with what was going on from the beginning. So we had two dates to book. Um, right before the. Right, but before the boss, our president at Brick had uh, made an announcement. We had two dates already booked, and we had to cancel. Uh, we have about ten guests lined up for the season so far, but we everybody knows that you know what's going on, so we just put it pushed everything back until we find out what's going on. Um, so okay, so what so what are you right what are you working on now now that you're in the house? Because we have ample time. Um, a lot of you know people are still working, but it's like you just still have nothing but time because you know people are social distancing six six uh, inches, uh, you know whatever. What are you working on now? <laughs> six feet away from each other, so everybody's yeah, in a little feet, space. Yeah, six feet, yeah. yeah. Um, so everybody's in a little space. Um, Some people I'm giving you six inches my... when they need to give you six feet. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. You're totally correct about that. Um, so I'm in my little space right now. This is where I get creative. Um, currently working on another short film. I'm approximately like 10 minutes in, still haven't came up with a name for the actual um, next short that I'm working on. Okay. So once I finish the other one, I can jump into production mode for the next one. Okay, okay. What have you worked on before? Um, I, I know you uh, you were former MVP. Uh, you worked on a few shows. Um, you had a film. Tell us about your film. Well, um, there's a couple of things that I have done before uh, Brick had went out on this little quarantine break, I want to say. Um, I, uh, and like I said, like you said, an MVP, most high producer of the year. Um, I am, I did a documentary through Brick TV called Work Behind the Ball. Okay. Uh, something that's really like 2019 has really uh, made me know that that I'm an amazing creative person, so I kept continue pushing. Then I just dropped something back in February called Transcend with Miss Pearl. It's about a trans woman uh, who uh, lived the nightlife, who was a showgirl, a uh, okay. promoter, and had all these showboys you want to call them dancers uh, living the life, you know, learning about that lifestyle back in the '80s, early okay. '90s. So I follow her and got some information about her on uh, dealing with the nightlife. Okay. So what, so what, what's some uh, yeah. advice I guess you would have for somebody coming out of this? Cause of course, you know, at some point we plan on, we don't plan on being here forever. Um, and you're in a creative mode. Like what, what's something that you would tell somebody to do uh, coming out of this after, you know, you are saying uh, the type of year you had in 2019. Uh, I want people to keep pushing. Um, and don't forget where you where where you were at last. Just pick up the pieces and continue going. Um, that's all I can say. And what do you have to look forward to once they open up outside again? Uh, I'm ready to finish this film. Um, I'm ready to start shipping it to film festivals. That's where I'm at right now. Cool. All right, man. So until next time, we'll see you. Hopefully, we we don't have to do too many of these. Um, but, you know, we want to check in with producers and make sure everybody is doing well, man. I appreciate you for uh, taking your time out. Yep. Shout out to my Brick family. I miss y'all. See y'all soon.